So this is my long fiberglass tank that I'm going to use for Hydroton. So what I want to do now is you can see all these little chips here. So I'm going to seal it with this stuff called Pond Shield. Um, just paint it over. I have some over here already. Looks like this. Just dried. So I'll do that over there. I don't need much since it's just a small spot. But that is what I'll do. First thing I'll do is give it a sand. You want to make the surface rough so that the non-toxic epoxy or the pond shield can stick to the surface better. It does look like something else was painted here before, but I don't know what it is. After I sand it, what I'll do is take a wet piece of paper towel to get as much of the fiberglass particles out as I can. So I wipe the surface twice so I can get as much of the particles as I can. After the wet paper towel, I'll use a dry one to pick up some further stuff and also speed up the drying process. So here is the stuff, I mixed it already, it's two parts, I'll show you the containers, but that is how it looks. So since I don't really have a paintbrush, I'm just going to use a sponge to apply it, so I don't have a big area anyway. So you can see I got it down there now. I just have to let it dry. I think it's either 24 hours or one week. But I'll wait a week anyways before I put anything in here. But that is how it looks when it's not dried. As you can see, cover this spot. This is what I used to seal those chips in the fiberglass tub I just showed you. It's called Pond Shield. It's a non-toxic epoxy. Basically in the box it comes in two parts so you got part B and part A and you gotta mix them together to get the right consistency this does come in blue clear I think gray and black but I got this on Craigslist for cheap so I only got the black one otherwise I probably would have got the blue to match with the the color of the fiberglass tank but you can see this is what I used it's pretty simple to do and it should get the job done. So right now I'm gonna start filling this grow bed here with Hydrothon. I got it quite a bit on free, or for free from Craigslist. So I got this bucket here, this one here, and I also got this out here. And I still have more, I just have to wash it, but I'm gonna put that in right now, right in here. That is all I have washed at the moment. So hopefully I have enough, otherwise I gotta wait, see if I can find some on Craigslist. Don't really wanna buy this stuff new. But you can see, got quite a bit. And then I gotta figure out something over here. There's a two inch bulk head underneath there, but for some reason the two inch pipe does not fit in it. it fits at the bottom, but not at the top, so I gotta figure that out because that's not good but you can see there's some water in the buckets with the hydroton 